When I awoke the next morning, my head felt like I had been hit with a heavy piece of wood. Oh, Jenna! You're awake! Are you okay, love? Yeah, I think so. But my head hurts and my muscles ache. You sure don't hold your ale well, love. I guess you never drank as much as me. Do you think you'd be well enough to travel? I think so. But maybe I should eat first. And we would have to see Dalamar before we depart. Agreed. Get dressed, love, and then come downstairs. Make sure you don't forget your weapons. The common room was empty. Did you sleep well? Milady. Yes, ma'am, I did, thank you. If you're looking for your husband, milady, he's out back in the stables with Scan. Thank you, madam. Link was in the stables brushing Midnight Star, smoothing out the horse's ragged mane with a hard bristle brush. He turned to face his beautiful wife. Ah, oh, Jenna, you finally came down. Great, my love. I have wonderful news! A messenger from the tower came with a letter from Dalimar! He says that the Griffin Council wishes to speak with us this afternoon. You mean the Griffin Elders want to see us? Holy shit! That's unbelievable! So when do we leave? As soon as they send someone for us. It's still early morning, so relax, love. Why don't you go to the market and walk around for a while? Well, I hate waiting! But I have been wanting to go to the market to buy some herbs. I will be back in a few hours then, my love. Maybe I will find some good silk to buy. As I browsed around, I spotted a few good silk shops inside to have a look. Then I walked into one shop and saw the most beautiful silver silk I had seen in my life. So, lass, you like that one? Yes, I do. I have never seen silk as beautiful as this before. That's probably because that type of silk is very rare. You can only find that kind of silk in one place, across the 22 Barren Sea. Across the Barren Sea? I thought that no one ever was able to cross the Barren Sea and return alive. Calm down, Lars, but you heard wrong. I have been across the Barren Sea, and I'm here to tell about it. And by the way, Lars, the name is Tannis. Wait! Just how did you cross the Barren Sea without getting sunk by the sea beast? Oh, one of those dangerous storms! That's me secret, lass, if I told... Well, then everyone would have this silk, and many other things. But forget about that. I'll tell you, since you like that silk so much, lass, and that I know it would look beautiful on you, I'll give you a discount price on that. Let's say 20 rupees, agreed? Dear. Yeah. Thank you, lass. I hope you enjoy it. You made a good choice. Thank you, Tutanis! Oh, and one more thing, lass. Be careful in the streets. You know us griffins are not the trusting type, unlike me, but just be careful anyway. I walked around the market aimlessly for a while, then noted the time and decided to head back to the Griffin's Vineyard. Milady, your husband has been looking for you. He said for me to tell you as soon as you came back to meet him, out back by the steeples. He also said it was important that you do so hastily. Thank you, ma'am. I will go back quickly now. What business do you have at the Tower of Elders, humans? We're here to see Lord Dalimar. He has sent word the Griffin Council wishes to speak with us. What would the High Lord of the Griffin Council want to do with a human? Look, just send for Lord Dalimar and he will tell you himself. I don't know what type of devious plot you're planning here, human. But if you two don't get lost, what the hell do you two think you're doing? Lord Dalimar, sir, we didn't know you were there. By the fires of hell, you didn't know I was there, because you're goofing off, that's why. Now, why haven't you allowed me guests in, Dalamar, sir? Yes, you heard me right. Open those damn gates and allow them in. Now. Sorry, my friends, for all of that. I didn't mean for... No worry, my friend. We're just glad that you came along. Well, those guards are just young and naive. But anyway, my friends, we must make haste. The council awaits your arrival. I just paced outside the massive golden doors for what seemed like an eternity. 
Jenna, you know that all of that pacing is not going to get them to see us any faster. I know. I'm just anxious. And I hate all this damn net waking! Sigh. Come on, Jenna, will you relax and save your energy? You're starting to make me dizzy watching you. I wonder what they could be doing in there for them to be taking so long to see us. I'm not sure, love, but I think they will not leave us out here forever. The Council of Elders will see you now! I got up and followed Link past the two guards and inside the Council Chamber. Link and Jenna Silverblade, are ye the ones that Lord Dalimar claims to have saved him and saw him safely home? Yes, milady! We are the ones Lord Dalimar speaks of! You know, Link Silverblade, we the Griffins never have trusted anyone. Ever since the Great War, hundreds of years ago, when the humans enslaved us and forced us to do their bidding, our faith in the humans has never been the same. But you have proven different. You and your wife, Jenna Silverblade, have risked your lives to travel through the land that Ariacus now controls to safely bring one of our people home. Not too many humans will go to great lengths to save one of us, but you and your wife have proved that not all humans are bad. However, because of that distrust among our people, we cannot allow you to stay here much longer. I wish they didn't have to come to this. Dalimar has informed us that you even risked your lives to save him when you were ambushed by a set of draconians. But it's that word has spread among our people that there's humans in the city and many are not happy. Some are even rebelling against your presence here. We cannot have an uproar now even when we need our people to be strong in light of this raging war against Ariacus. So. I will have to ask you and your wife to please leave in the morning! Again, I wish they didn't have to come to this, but maybe one day with the knowledge that there are humans like you, then maybe all of us will learn to trust again. But the time isn't now. However, should you ever need one of us in a time of need, we will always come to your aid should you ever call. That crystal is called a 24. Mind glyph. Those are symbolic to our people. But I want you to have it. Should you ever need us, all you have to do is focus your thoughts into the crystal and think of us. All of us here on the council are connected to it telepathically. Just open up your heart and we will answer. I understand High Priestess Alhanna. We will leave under your orders in the morning. I will have High Lord Dalimar show you the gates. Take care, Link and Jenna Silverblade. May the goddesses watch over you. We followed Dalimar to the front gates, where our horses were saddled and waiting for us. I want to thank you again, my friends for accompanying me on my journey and seeing me <laughs> safely home. It was a pleasure accompanying you here. My wife. And I had always wanted to see the magnificence of the Griffin City. Well, <laughs> my friends, I'm sure to glad that you did join me, or I might have ended up as roasted griffin meat for the Draconians. Do you think that Ariacus is planning an attack against your people? I cannot be too sure. Well, the council is going to prepare in case we have to go to war. We're already preparing the troops for heavy combat and upping security along our borders. I'd say we're safe... for now. Well, we wish you all the best of luck! And should you ever need us, you know where to find us! Thank you again, my friends. And may the goddesses see you're safe. Return back to Hyrule! Do you think we should start heading back to Hyrule now instead of tomorrow? I mean, I think the sooner we get back, the better! I was just thinking the same thing, love. We need to hurry back with the information we possess. Zelda must be informed of what we encountered on our way here. I agree! So are we heading out now? Yes! Yes, we are! I think we should get back before anything else happens. There ain't no rest for the wicked Money don't grow